Well, good Monday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you today. Hope you had a good night's rest and you are ready to face the day. This is the week of Thanksgiving. Uh, Thanksgiving being Thursday of this week, of course. We were able to spend time with Teresa's family on Saturday for their Thanksgiving. Her mother, Bessie, if she would have been alive, she would have been there. And there were about 63 people, I think, they counted. And uh, so that was a good time, able to see folks we haven't seen for a good while and look forward to Thanksgiving this week. I'm going to read to you a piece of scripture that I've read before, and it's just a question. In Psalm 8 and verse 4, David says, What is man that thou art mindful of him? And the Son of Man, that thou visitest him. For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. What are we that God would even look and be concerned with us? Well, when he made man, he made him in his image, and he made him in his likeness, and he made him for fellowship. Of course, sin ruined that, separated the fellowship, broke the fellowship that we were to have. And so God sending his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, uh, to come uh, gives us that opportunity to be redeemed. Well, we must believe. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God, the scripture says. And so we hear when we come to believe and put our faith and our hope and our trust in Christ and repent of our sin, that is a, a draw that only God can give. And so in that draw, can we say no? Well, some people say no, you can't say no. Well, as if uh, there is nothing at all uh, that you can do. Either God draws you and saves you and does it against your will. Um, and I, I, I've i never seen it that way. And I know people can tell me their scriptures and say that they can back it up with that. And I do believe that God draws. I do believe that God deals. And I do believe that man can say yes or no. And see, and the way I look at it is, if that would have been the case, then God, and of course he could do anything, but he would have prevented man from sinning in the first place. So why go through all of this if he's not going to give man a chance now to repent, but he's just going to save him against his will anyhow? That's why I don't believe that way or agree with that, but nevertheless, it is what it is. There's nothing I can do to change people's mind on that, I'm sure. But when God deals with a man and he comes to the realization that he needs help, then he, maybe he starts asking the question, God, why me? What, As Chris Christofferson would say, what have I ever done that you would even look at me? And that's what this writer here says, David. What is man that thou art mindful of him? This song I sang uh, when I first heard it on the radio on an AM gospel station that's no longer on the air, even I'd never heard it before. Johnny Cash had written the song, had recorded it years ago and recorded it a couple different times. But it gives a perspective of somebody who has walked maybe a darker path and... Um, and has hurt people that they love, but God in his love and mercy reaches down to save and to forgive. And so he's always faithful and just to do that. I could manage the problems I brought on myself. And it just made it worse when I laid them on somebody else. So I finally 
surrendered it all, brought down in despair. I cried out for help and I felt a warm comforter there. And I came to believe in a power much higher than I. I came to believe I needed help to get by. In childlike faith, I gave in and gave him a try. And I came to believe in a power much higher than I. Nothing worked out when I handled it all on my own. And each time I felt, it made me feel twice as alone. Then I thought, Lord, there must be a surer and easier way. For it just cannot be that a man should lose hope every day. And I came to believe in a power much higher than I. I came to believe I needed help to get by. In childlike faith, I gave in and gave him a try. And I came to believe in a power much higher than I. Lord, I thank you for the day you've given us, Lord. I thank you for the opportunity, the drawing of the Holy Spirit to bring us to salvation. We love you, Lord, and we thank you for all you do in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. Have a great day. See you Tuesday.